Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally going to be talking about what I bought in London. I was in London for two weeks so I got quite a lot of things. But keeping in mind it was my birthday four days before I left for London so most of the things I bought were spent on my birthday money. Also in case you're noticing something different about me, yes I finally have new glasses. My glasses if you knew beforehand had broke and they were stuck together with sellotape so I finally got new frames for them and I've got platinum blonde streaks down my hair. So without further ado I'm just gonna get into it. So the first things I'm gonna talk about is Lush. Now you all know I love Lush but like I said um, last time I was down in London I went completely overboard with Lush so I only got the essentials that I had to get. So I only got two things. I got American Cream Hair Conditioner. I needed this in London because my hair was just a frizzy mess and I forgot to bring my own conditioner so I needed something to tame it. And the second thing I got in London was pink peppermint foot cream and the name is exactly how it is I've already used a bit of it it smells like peppermint I got foot cream because my feet are always a mess because I love walking and I walk everywhere and when I was in London sometimes I'd be walking for about 8 miles a day so my feet were in dire need of some TLC now this next thing is kind of, I wanted to throw it in here, it's not something I bought, it was a late birthday present from my boyfriend, but I had to throw it in here. I don't know if you guys know, but I love collecting Simpsons and I love Disney, so my boyfriend got me the Easter collection of Simpsons. So they all come in this little basket and there they all are, so you've got Pooh, Eeyore, Minnie and Mickey. You can see it's Minnie and she's in a little bunny suit. She's got a little tail and everything. So all of the characters are in little bunny suits. Keeping in the theme with Simpsons, I bought myself a medium Simpson. This is Marie from the Aristocrats. I promised myself I was only ever going to buy original Disney characters from in medium Simpson form like Minnie, Mickey, Goofy, Pluto, Daisy but I seen her in the shop and I've never seen her in any of the shops and I thought she was too rare and too cute to pass up. What I got in the Disney shop was the Good Dinosaur DVD I'd never got to see it in cinema and I'd always wanted to see it so I seen it in the Disney store and I just bought it um, it's not the best Pixar movie, it was actually a letdown. Most of my favourite Disney movies are Pixar movies, so I had high expectations for it. It's not that I didn't enjoy it, it was more that it felt as if it didn't really have a good plot. It was more of a kind of cute watch, but it wasn't really enticing. It was okay, but not one of Pixar's best. Keeping in with the Disney theme, because if you don't know, I am obsessed with Disney. I haven't mentioned on my channel, so I'll mention now, as part of my 21st birthday, I was surprised with the news that I'm going to Disney World, Florida in June. It'll be June the 18th and I'll definitely be vlogging it for you guys every day. So I started thinking, I need clothes to wear in Disney. And the only two Disney pieces of clothing I have are very winter. So I went into Primark and I got this simple little top and it's got Simba on it. I don't know if you can see it because I'm in the way. It's got Simba and then further down it says no worries Hakuna Matata. I do recommend though if you are going into Primark I would get well this top for me I would get it in a size smaller. Now getting into where my money really suffered. I paid several visits to Selfridges. Bobby Brown. I got Bobby Brown eyeshadow. There's the packaging in the colour champagne. It's just a colour I've seen one of my favourite YouTubers with. It is the utmost gorgeous colour. It's 
very neutral so anyone can wear it. It's so highly pigmented but it's so shimmery. Um, I don't know if you can really see that. It's not. Oh no, wait, you can. It's a really neutral shimmery serade and it's lovely to blend. It would be amazing for an inner corner highlight which is something I really needed. I went a bit crazy with matte lipsticks. If you the first matte lipstick I got is here and this one is called Kinda Sexy. It's a lovely neutral pink shade. I'm not going to show you it and I'm not going to swatch it because I'm hoping to later on to do a lipstick collection. So if you're interested in seeing what Kinda Sexy looks like, stay tuned for the matte lipstick I got. I wasn't Funnily enough, I wasn't 100% sure of this lipstick. I'd seen it swatched in YouTube videos, but I wasn't sure of it. But it was my boyfriend that kind of persuaded me to get it. It's pure zen. It's one of these colours. I don't know if you remember in one of my earlier videos saying I don't like the con kind of the concealer colours because I feel that it washes me out. It is exactly that. It's a very pale, neutral concealer colour. But I seen it swatched on other people and I thought it was really nice and I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to try it, I'm going to give it a go and I'm glad I did because it's turning out to be one of my favourite shades. And the last matte lipstick I got was actually the first one I bought, which was originally going to be the only one I bought, but, you know, things happen. And that is Shy Girl. Shy Girl is, again, a very neutral kind of peachy colour. They're onto more of the affordable things I got. I badly needed a primer when I was down in London. So I bought the Maybelline Baby Skin, I think it's the Wake Me Up primer or something like that. You can read it. It's like the Wake Me Up primer and it gives you it makes you look awake and ready for work. I haven't actually used it yet. There's the applicator. I haven't used it yet but apparently it's more suited to wear on your skin without foundation. One of the very first makeup products I ever bought when I was in London, in fact it was, it was the very first makeup product I got. Again, I went into Selfridges to buy one matte lipstick which was Shy Girl, but no that, that doesn't happen. My boyfriend encourages me in the wrong ways. I've always had an obsession with NARS, but for some reason, don't laugh at me, for some reason I thought NARS was an American brand and you could only get it in America. So when I was in Selfridges and I seen that they had a NARS stand, I was pretty pumped. So here we are, this is the cutest packaging ever and you can't tell me that isn't the most orgasmic thing you've ever seen. If you know makeup, you'll have gotten my joke, this is the orgasm blush. The most orgasmic thing you've ever seen. It is absolutely beautiful, it is the award winning number one blush in the entire world and it is, I've wanted a NARS blush for the longest of times. Again, I said I have an obsession with collecting matte lipsticks. Well, I also have an obsession for collecting NYX Butter Glosses. I have two more in my collection. First one is a really dark one. This one's called Ginger Snap. Again, I haven't worn any of these. These aren't even opened. I wanted them to all look brand spanky new for the video. So this is Ginger Snap. And then this one, which is definitely one I'm going to be taking on holiday with me. It's a lot more of a tropical looking one. I think this is all called along the lines of sugar cake or cupcake. But I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you guys are having an awesome day.